Hi, I'm Linda. And I'm Bruce. And together we are today's dental consulting. We only work with offices that are using Open Dental or that are switching to Open Dental. We have no affiliation with Open Dental or any other vendors. So Delta California is coming out with a new PPO fee schedule in August. And we thought this would be a good opportunity to show people how they can import not only that fee schedule into Open Dental, but any fee schedule from any contracted carrier. What we would like to do is import our fee schedules so that our treatment plans are more accurate when we're showing them to the patients and so that we know how much to collect from the patient for the treatment that we're providing. But we want to do this the easiest way possible and that's what we're going to show you. So this is just to show you how easy this process is going to be. We're going to import the new Delta fee schedule. We're going to first of all clear it. We don't to worry too much about this yet. And then we're just going to go to import and import this new fee schedule. Simple as that. Got to go find the fee schedule. Click on it and Open Dental is going to do the work. There's all our new fees in there imported. There's a few things we need to do here before we can make it that easy. The first step is to convert the PDF, which is typically what we get our fee schedules formatted in, into Excel. Then we're going to format Excel and finally we're going to do that import I just showed you. So the best place to get the fee schedule is usually from the carrier website. If you can't find it there, then they can email you the, the fee schedule. But don't accept faxes. Faxes are going to cause you a lot of grief. And then we're going to go into some free software called PDF to Excel. Pretty easy to remember. Uh, in order to convert the PDF into Excel. So let's look a couple, at a couple of fee schedules. This is going to be a fairly easy one to import. This happens to be a Delta fee schedule. It's on multiple pages. This is a page break in here. And we've got an extra column that we don't really need, but that's not going to be too much of a problem, just the way this is laid out. This one over on this side is going to be much more difficult. You notice we've got two columns of information where we've got the procedure code, the description, and the fee here, and then they're repeated over on this side for more procedures. This tends to be a little bit tougher. If you have to do this manually, it's going to be a real pain. Don't worry, we're going to show you how to make this easy. So we're going to use a program called PDF to Excel, which is a free program. And when you go to their website, it's going to ask you to load the PDF file right here. You just drop it in there and then it's going to think about it for a little while and convert it. So over here, it says you want to download that. You click on that guy and here's what you get. Now this is saved as an Excel format. That's what we want. But even though it's in Excel, we're still going to have to do a little bit of editing. And I suggest you use the free version of ChatGTP to do this conversion for you. I use Chat a lot. And after doing several conversions, I asked Chat to write the prompt that would work best if I shared it with other people. And that's what Chat did. So down there, highlighted in yellow, is the prompt that chat said to use on your chat imports. You can see how friendly chat is. I didn't put that in there, chat did. What we're going to do is click on this little plus right here and import that Excel spreadsheet that we got from PDF to Excel. And then we're going to go down here. We're importing it right here. That's going to browse to where that uh, Excel spreadsheet is saved. And then we're going to paste our prompt right in here. And boom, this is what chat gives us all correctly formatted in here. So I included the description. We're going to take this out in just a minute, but I kind of like to see what's going on in here because I want to do a little double checking in here. If I go in Excel to the data tab and then I'm going to go over here and tell it to sort 
by A to Z, in other words, the smallest to the largest in this column right there. All right, and that's going to put these procedure codes in the correct order to import them. But it also is a good way to kind of figure out if there's any errors in here. So I did a reverse sort here, just went back and clicked on that same button to put the largest procedure code at the top. And you can see, hey, I got some empty fee schedules or fees in there. That's all right, that doesn't bother me, but sometimes you find gibberish or things that uh, really just don't look right in there. It's just a good check. You can do the same thing with the fees. In other words, sort the lowest to the highest and the highest to the lowest, just trying to look for any garbage that might be in there. Then we can kick it back to chat to do a little bit more work on it if we need to. Now we're gonna do a little human editing in here. I'm gonna take out that description column in there, just delete it out of there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and save this, but in a special format. I'm gonna put the new fee schedule name up here and I'm gonna save it, I'm in Excel. I'm gonna save it as a tab delimited text because this is what Open Dental wants, not Excel, but a tab delimited text. Now we're finally ready to import it into Excel. Remember we did the save as that text file because that's what Open Dental is going to look for. Here's a little cheat sheet and I'll put this in the description below the video. So we're going to go to lists and procedure codes. Then we're going to go down here to fee tools and come up and be careful which fee schedule you put in there. There's a drop down. We don't want to put our UCR in there. We want to put our old Delta fees in there. And we're actually going to clear out that old fee schedule and then we're going to go to import here. So here's a little live video and I'm actually going to do a backup in here too. So this is essentially repeats what we just looked at in the cheat sheet. All right, so I'm going to go in there to my fee schedule. I'm clicking on add. I'm doing the backup now. I'm putting a new fee schedule in here that's just a copy of that old one. So now I have that down at the bottom. The next step is I'm going to copy my current fee schedule using the fee tools. So there's my current one. I'm going to copy it to the backup copy real quick. This is belt and suspenders, just in case you need that. Okay, so now we're ready to do the import that I showed you in the cheat sheet. There's our fee schedule. We're going to clear out all those old fees, but we have a backup, so don't panic. We're done doing that. And now we're gonna import the new one. Okay, and that's what that pop-up says, to clear out the old fees. All right, so here's my new fee schedule right there. And that's real time how fast Open Dental did that for you. That's pretty quick. A lot better than doing all the typing. So now we can go back. Here's our old fees in there. We can compare them side by side with our new fees. Don't you wish that your fees increased that much? Congratulations. You can now do something that very few people on the planet can do. And it is of real value to your office to get these current fee schedules in there so that your treatment plans are more accurate and you know how much to collect. We hope you found this video useful. If you'd like some help in making your office more profitable using Open Dental, contact us. That's what we do. You can call me at 209-603-9944 or go to our website todaysdentalconsulting.com where you can schedule a free consultation with us.